Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Bridget and on this channel we do all things budgeting. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, make sure you keep on watching. So today we are going to do a my um, cash stuffing for my first paycheck of November. Yes, it's almost November. It's, all, it's almost the middle of November and I'm about to get paid again. And I know this video is late, but I still wanted to get it out to you guys. I'm always late, but I need to do better. And I actually got paid last Wednesday, which I should have done this video then, but I just had a lot going on. So today we are going to be unstuffing our um, A7 binder here. All right, so in spending, we have some money left. Spending, we have one, two, three, four, five. So we have five dollars left in spending. So in household, we have five dollars and we have some change here. So I'm just going to put this right here. And then in groceries, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven dollars left. We also have some change in here as well. Um, gas has nothing, so as usual. I normally put my coins in here, but the zipper is messed up, so I just put them back here. And as always, I don't have my coin jar, so we're just going to put our coins in here. Uh, I left it in the car. some receipts back here and I'll be scanning these into my fetch rewards and um, if you guys don't know what fetch rewards is it's where you scan your receipts into this app called fetch and in return for scanning your receipts you get points and then you can cash those points out into gift cards and there's like numerous amounts and different amounts of gift cards that you can choose from so yeah but first let me um lay my money out and today we're working with $365 so we're just going to count our money out. So we have 50, 70, 90, 100, 110, 120, 30, 150, 170, 210, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, 300, 310, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I think we done messed up already. So we have 50. 70, 90, 100, 110, 120, 30, 150, 170, 190, 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 350, 360, 361, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, so we're just going to lay our money out. This week has been hectic, y'all. I mean, real hectic because I'm falling so behind. I should have been posted this video, but life happens as you all know all right so we're gonna just slide this up some and then we will be ready to stuff our envelopes i'm just gonna slide my candle up some because i'm very ocd so <clears throat> The first envelope that we're gonna stuff is spending and spending is getting $13. And yeah, it's weird, but that's just how I budgeted for um, my envelopes here. So we have 10 and then 12. So we have $13, so 10, 11, 12, 13. Y'all have some janky ones this time as well. Normally I have some good like ones, but not this time. 
right, so next up is household and household is getting 25 and that will just be a $20 bill and a $5 bill. So now we have 25. Same for groceries, we are getting $25, so that will be a 20 and a $5 bill, so we have $25. Okay, gas is getting $80. Yeah, so we're gonna do 220, so 20, 40, we're gonna do no, we're gonna do three 20s, 20, 40, 60, and two 10s. So this should be 80. So you have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. And I just filled up my car and with gas, I just filled it back up. So that was $30. So what we're gonna do is take 30. And so now we're left with 20, 40, 50. For gas which is fine, you know. So, I'm gonna put this to the side and I'll show you what I do with that. Um, basically, I just take it back to the bank. So we're done with this binder. So we're gonna start with that yellow binder and our first envelope that we're gonna stuff is emergency fund and emergency fund is getting $15 and I think I budgeted a 10 and a buy for that yeah so now in emergency fund we have 1,000 in the bank and this is just a $1,000 placeholder that I just put some little jewels on I thought it was cute so we have a thousand in the bank we have 100 200 300 400 420 440 450 60 470 480 490 500 so we have 1500 and 1500 was the amount for my second goal the first goal was a thousand second goal was 1500 so now we have reached our second goal for emergency fund i don't know if i have a third goal or not but i think i'm just going to be stuffing this um in small amounts because right now i need to focus on my um paying off my credit card so we'll see savings is getting 25 dollars and savings is getting a 20 dollar bill and a five dollar bill all right so let's see so now in savings we have 100 200 220 240 260 280 300 305 310 315 20 25 so we have 325 and in the bank we have 425 so we have 750 which is awesome so extra debt is getting $50 extra debt has 20 40 60 80 90 95 100 101 so with the 50 we now have 151 Christmas is not getting anything actually Christmas is done I went shopping this past weekend or yeah, the weekend before last weekend and I spent every bit of this on the kids Christmas so Christmas has zero so we're just gonna remove this and put that to the side Medical uh, is getting $10. So medical has 106 in the bank. So we have 106, 116, 126, 136. So we have 136 in our medical fund. Birthdays is getting $6. So it's gonna be a $5 bill and a $1 bill. Please don't ask me how I came up with these. Um, denominations I just did I don't know but yeah so birthday now has 10 20 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 I think that's what I did I was trying to make it like an even number so that's why I added six dollars so birthdays has forty dollars 
we're just gonna slide our camera down so we can see it a little bit and then slide this up just a tad bit all right so now that we have that up so self-care is next and self-care is getting only a dollar because i'm not focused on that right now so yeah, self-care now is 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So I have $35 in our self-care envelope. My vacation is getting a $20 bill. It always gets a 20. So now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 150, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200. 205, 210, 215, 220. So we have $220, which is correct. And I'm only using this to get like a um, room at a motel for a weekend when I'm off just to chill out. So yeah, family time is getting 20. We had money in here last weekend, but we depleted it. We ordered pizza and wings. And of course, I had to go into my miscellaneous, but that's what it's for. So now family time has 20. And we're going to the zoo next weekend like the 21st we're gonna go to the zoo so it's actually free for kids um 12 and under you can take up to five kids for free that are 12 and under to the zoo where i'm located at so all i have to do is pay for me and my mother to go so there's that um family vacation is not getting anything car maintenance is getting 20 dollars I think I messed up somewhere. Yeah, so car maintenance is getting $20. And I don't know if I, um, I don't know. We'll figure it out. So car maintenance has $5 because I went and got an oil change and that depleted my, um, oh, I think I messed up depleted my account so we're gonna do two tens I think I messed up somewhere so um, car maintenance now has $25 and I use this for like car washes um, oil changes anything that I buy for my car like air fresheners this goes in there tithing we stuff but not on camera and what I'm gonna do is take this thousand dollar placeholder that I have for Christmas and we're just gonna put that back here so we're done with this binder. We're gonna move on to our pink binder. Uh, my mother has $245 in here, but she ordered a heater that she wanted um, and it was like 230 something bucks. So I'm gonna take this out and go pay her bill for her. But today she is going to get $10. So now she has $10. Um, knowledge, Nyla, Princeton, and Messiah, their money, I took it out and put it in the bank because it was getting hard to close. But um, Knowledge today is getting $5 and he has $135 in the bank. So this will be $140. Uh, Nyla has $145 in the bank. She's getting a $5 bill, so that will make her have $150. Princeton has $170, $147. He's getting a $5 bill, so that will make him have $152. I think that's $147. I don't know. My hand right now. He has $150, so he has $155. And then Nasaya is getting a $5 bill as well. And she has $145 in the bank. So now she has $150. Good girl. Um, Sam's Club is not getting anything. Giving is not getting anything right now. Um, my sister needed some money, so I gave that to her. Tech is not getting anything. But we are going to take tech out because if you guys watched my prior video, I actually bought an iPad. So yeah, there's $34 in here, should be. So 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So we have $34, but I'm gonna put this over here with the money that I took from my cash envelope. So tech has zero. Retirement is getting $5 as usual. So 
that would be a five dollar bill and so retirement now has five ten twenty thirty forty fifty six fifty five 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. So we have 60 in our retirement fund. Student loans is getting $5 as well. So that will just be a $5 bill. Now student loans has 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, so we have $75 in student loans. Miscellaneous is getting $5, so this is our last five. And that is all that miscellaneous has. Yeah, so. Um, I budgeted wrong somewhere, I have $10 left no idea why but oh no 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 i started a new envelope and it's a three to six month fund and i started a new envelope it's not in this binder but i budgeted ten dollars for that so this is where this ten dollars is gonna go um but i have something to show you all i got a new binder and this will be in my next um, cash envelope stuffing video for November. So yeah, I got a new binder. It's purple. It's really pretty. And I got new. Um, I'm, I bought some more envelopes. I made new envelopes, and I put these stickers on them because these were getting on my nerves. They're like they stick to everything. So yeah, these are my new stickers. So yeah, my three to six month. Um, my three to six month envelope is in here but it's called future expenses so yeah so yeah it's pretty much the same envelopes that are in these two binders just just new envelopes so yeah i'll be in my next video you will see this binder and probably my pink binder so yeah um let's see here is the money that we have left over from our cash envelopes so all together we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we have $17 left over. So what we're going to do is, since we're now focusing on paying off our credit card, which I owe $600 on there, I'm going to put all the money from our cash envelopes. And I'm also going to put this money that I took out from my tech fund because I don't need it. Since I bought an iPad and I'll try to have my iPad in my next video and I'm trying to find some budget sheets so if you guys have any or know any budgeters who who have created some and um have a link just please let me know down in the comments because I really want to start like budgeting on my iPad now so yeah we're just gonna add this so we have 151 in our um we have 151 in our extra debt fund, so we're adding all of that. So now we have 50, 70, 90, 100, 110, 130, 150, 160, 165, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 200, 201, 202. So now we have $202 in our extra debt. And like I said, my credit card is $600, so we're only $400 away. So now that I've reached my um, second goal for my emergency fund of $1,500, I'm going to still stuff it, but not like what $25 is much I'm just gonna steal stuff because I'm working on paying off my credit card so yeah guys um, I'm sorry this video is super late uh, like I said I got paid last Wednesday today's Saturday I'm about to get paid again next Wednesday on the 20th um, whatever that I don't know no the 17th yeah so I'll be doing another cash stuffing video so stay tuned for that and if you like the video make sure to give it a thumbs up 
hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!